Markov's inequality was used when the first moment was known for a probability distribution. Chebyshev's inequality, which is given here, is used when the first two moments, namely the mean mu and the variance sigma squared, are both finite and known for a distribution. So here is Chebyshev's inequality. Let the random variable x have a finite mean mu and a finite variance sigma squared. That will eliminate a few distributions, such as the Pareto distribution and the Cauchy distribution, which were covered earlier. But most distributions will satisfy the assumptions for Chebyshev's inequality. For every real value k greater than 0, the probability that the absolute value of x minus mu is greater than or equal to k sigma, that probability will be bounded and you will know that it is less than or equal to 1 over k squared. As was the case with the Markov inequality, you are getting a bound on a particular probability. Now Chebyshev's inequality is also known as Chebyshev's theorem in case you're searching for it on the internet and it can be stated in three fashions. These three fashions are all equivalent to the way it is stated up here. The first thing you can do is you can replace the less than or equal to with a greater than or equal to if you want. So that is the probability that x minus mu is less than k sigma will be greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 over k squared. Now if the absolute value is something that's that's tripping you up a little bit another thing that many people do when they're stating Chebyshev's theorem is they expand that and isolate x in the middle of the inequality. Uh, one or two steps of algebra will give you this same bound that is 1 minus 1 over k squared and you will see this written in this fashion where you have x falling between mu minus k sigma and mu plus k sigma. Finally the last thing you can do is you can write this quantity right here and replace k sigma with epsilon and you will get Chebyshev's inequality looking like this.